What word can I give you when we're all born to die? Living on the rooftops of the world we have lost. Fleeing or killing to survive at all costs. Scavenging the ruins in search of. Desperate.
is that?
You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic dating service. A dating service? I could use a little something-something if you know what I mean. Uh, tell me. Oh, I'll gladly explain. Get you up to speed? Okay, I'll admit it. I made you a card already. Whoa, <laughs> what? I created a profile for you. A profile on, on a card? What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world may have ended and most of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit, that's exactly why they're lonely these days. You mean to tell me there was a time when people weren't lonely? Imagine a world where people actually went out. To work, shopping, walking their dog. And on top of that, they had dating apps. Um, uh, apps? Okay, okay, never mind. What I'm trying to say is that before the shit hit the fan, we used to socialize. There were parties, you know, when people got together just for the sake of being together. And of course, to get laid. <laughs> now, everyone just stays home behind closed doors because, well, meeting new people can result in getting clubbed in the skull for a bucket of water. So, well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet. Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that. Or at least, that's what I'm told. Then, I put their portrait on a card and display it on my dating board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and voila! A romance is born. Not always for very long, but uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now, I'm in deep shit. And I desperately need help. Of course you do. Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me and bring them back. I heard that talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. Bring them to me, and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. livers for medicine. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Is it true you recovered the crystals?
You know more people kill themselves than are killed by a virus these days. Guess they need some kind of purpose. Purpose. Inhibitor container detected. For this is the news of the last city standing. Citizens, good news from old Villador. Jacob, the legendary storyteller from New Paris, will be gifting us with a series of performances in Horseshoe this week. A stage has been set up on a rooftop northwest of the old St. Joseph Hospital. Young and old alike will thrill to the terrifying tale of our very own St. Paul Cathedral and the legend of the monster that lurks within it. Accompanied by the safety and comfort of a warm fire and UV lights. And now, a safety announcement. Be reminded that displaying a valid biomarker at all times Times is mandatory. Do not tamper with or try to use biomarkers found on dead bodies or on infected. They are key to the blood of the bearer, and using them will lead to certain deaths. That is all for today. Citizens, long may you thrive and survive. Good night. What you want? Man, I don't want to end up drinking my own pee. Someone's got to do something about the situation. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? 
Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Didn't you hear what I said? Get downstairs. I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <laughs> Did not you die? God, you asshole! You set me up! What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never! I, I was just doing my job! Scouting! It's my job! Maybe Carl knows something. No, wait, don't! Look, they just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... 
terrible, but I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. He's not here. No signs of Cliff here. Damn it. You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I don't want to rush you, but my brother is in danger. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
Aiden, what's the status? It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that.
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with him, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details yet. Aiden? You there? Have you found Cliff? Yes, but you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Walsh. Downside, he's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy.
gonna mess you up! <laughs> Damien! Come on, man. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. Can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Go.
Legend has it the Night Runners built these windmills.
She does, and she's against it. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Not a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, oh, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Uh, <laughs> that's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But... Getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Uh, wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Uh, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom. Both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. Mum, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumour or innuendo. Thanks. What's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. What's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. 
He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. sent to bed without dinner? Come out right now. Buddy? Spud! Here, boy! Huh? Buddy, where look. are you? I'll show you later. This is what happens when oh, now I feel how tired I am. Didn't we tell well, you not take to get your nap. truck like Can't do it on cue.
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? About not finding out the hard way that you can't fly. <laughs> Maybe if I weren't such a weakling and a coward, I'd have jumped already. But you didn't. Something is holding you back. Fear. Fear has always held me back. It held me back from refusing those assholes after they took my brother. It held me back from telling those doomed guys to run like hell instead of sending them to their deaths. I won't be held back anymore, Aiden. I won't hold myself back. You ready for this, Aiden? Because if I stop holding myself back, I think I just might be able to fly after all. Check it out! No! Civilizations, but a lot of circumstances. Mm. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade. This is what happens when you bargain with bandits. Didn't we tell you not to give your trunk?
Get out! I'm warning you! Get out of my... How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. And Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is... Oh. He told me to say sayonara. That help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. You know what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. You'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi, can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> huh. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here, take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off or I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cut. A tiny one. A sliver. You know what vultures guys like Dodger are. It's barely enough to live on, but it's better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lead, and I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. So, this is a military base? Yeah. They sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak. 
The base has a military side and a civilian side. <laughs> military side is a good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. That way, once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> that'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. <laughs> Uh, but, but I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Uh, thanks for the tip. Not that I'm in a hopeless situation, but can you hurry?
me up. I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey. Hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So, what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then, part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. <laughs> well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah. I gotta make good on a promise. Here. If you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. <sighs> not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah, like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. Must be howlers. They don't attack on their own, but bring other infected running. You think it's all clear? Then one shriek and a wave of infected appears. Quit fucking scaring me, man. Maybe we'll come back for this generator another time. Seems to be in decent shape. And just how are we going to get it out of there? It'll be lighter if we try to...
I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them.
Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of Risen Glory Cognac. And some cigars. Hmm, Cuban, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. He was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? What's it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why did you attack him? Hubert was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed Half-Assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. Oh! <laughs> 
How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. 
but then I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I won't even think about doing it again, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. What you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God? But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. 
That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people half assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? You won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Eden. This is what happens when you bargain with bandits. Didn't he tell you not to give your job with any candy? My wares are top quality. The others...
best of the bazaar.
sometimes I venture out at the street level just to look at the shop. and signs from before the fall. Because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you've got no one to lean on, that's when you know a little The worst thing was they took all the equipment. Don't make me laugh. Maybe there's a way to fix this. You can fix it by figuring out how you're going to pay me. Fuck you. You want to get sent. Wait, dinner? Okay, you found me. Very funny. Get out of my way. Hey, relax. Oh, I would relax. If I could find my sons instead of a damn comedian. I can't find your kids? They went out to play earlier and haven't come back yet. Usually they come right away when I call. Boys! Game's over! Come out! Mo? Scott? You hear me? Scott! Where are you? This isn't funny! When did you see him last? God! Hours ago. Normally they'd be back by now, but I've looked everywhere. Do you think something happened? Maybe you've seen him. Mo is 13, Scotty's 16. Uh, no, but boys their age they do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but all oh, my birthday's coming up and it'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise for me. I'd die. You understand, if something happened to them, I'd... All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. They sometimes play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. And you suppose
supposed to be an only child. If he had been, I'd only be half as worried right now.
This is what happens when you bargain with bandits. Didn't we tell you not to give your trust with penny candy? Days, Aiden. Buddy! Here, boy! Buddy! Hey, I'm, I'm looking for two kids, uh, Scott and Mo. Mo? He's my new best friend, you know. After Buddy, of course. You seen him today? Today? No. But he and Scott started coming to play with me and Buddy a lot lately. Buddy didn't trust him at first, but now all four of us have a great time together. Oh, you know, Buddy? Buddy's my dog. Haven't seen him, have you? Pretty big. Thick black fur? Chase his balls like a puppy, but he's pretty old, actually. No, but uh, I didn't think pets were allowed at the bazaar anyway. What about Mo and Scott? Any idea where they might have gone? Uh, who knows? But Buddy, Buddy's a stray. He shows up here every day to play with me. I take him home, but my uncle won't let me. Maybe one day. Hey, <laughs> did you know it's not true that dogs only see in black and white? I have two toy balls, and Buddy always fetches the blue one. It's his favorite. Look, amazing stuff, but I gotta take off for now. I have to find Scott and Mo. You bet it's amazing. I know a whole lot about dogs. Did you know a dog can make as many as ten different noises? Oh, Buddy. Where is that dog? Listen, kid, I, I don't really have time for K9-101. Okay, okay. If you don't like dogs, you should have said so. I didn't... That's what... That's, never mind. Look, I'll let you know if I run across Buddy. Meanwhile, I have to find Scott and Mo. Wait! I just got an idea! The Bazaar Gate, of course! Why would Mo and Scott be at the Bazaar Gate? I don't know. I'm talking about Buddy. There's bones all over the place there, because of, well, you know, Buddy digs like crazy by the gate. Sorry, kid. I, I don't have time for Buddy right now. I'm in a rush. Digging for human bones is pretty creepy to me, but Scott and Mo think it's hilarious. Wait, so Scott and Mo may not have come out here after all? Anywhere else you know that they hang out? If you want them that bad, I guess you could check along the King William the Ninth Road. Scott showed us how to hunt Martins around there. Thanks for the tip. Don't worry. As soon as I find them, Buddy's next. Thanks, mister. I hope so. If you do, maybe Buddy will be your friend too. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear out before he pisses people off. <laughs> Stay away from the chemicals, bro. Shit will burn you to the bone. Aiden, Pilgrim, come here. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Water tower. 
wonder how these fighters are hiding. They're out of baguettes again? Melinda's not gonna be happy. We need the juice to turn on the UVs. Get on top and activate the windmill, will you? Aiden! Fancy a bun? Enjoy the bread while you can, Pilgrim. My aunt says viral spit cures pimples. I'd rather not ask how she knows. Hey, I heard Carl talking about water restrictions last night. Don't stay out too late! man. here? Tom's looking for you. Mo! Scott! Mo! Still nothing. Yeah! <laughs> 
Your mother sent me. Where's your brother? We we played and the dog ran off and Mo! What happened exactly? We were throwing sticks for the dog to fetch and it, it ran in there. Now you said it ran off. Well, um it ran inside. Then we went after it and and infected it attacked us. The dog the dog saved us. I gotta go back. I gotta save Mo. Mom will kill me if I don't. Which floor is Mo on? Uh, second floor, or no, th third, or maybe fourth? I don't know. Please, help my brother, mister. Go back to the bazaar. I'll find him, I promise. Watch out for the infected, mister.
It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. It's... it's out there. It attacked us. The dog saved us. Poor little dog. And we... You're fine. You're safe. You understand? Hey, look at me. Now, your mother sent me. She's looking for you. Okay, come out. It's back. I'm not coming out. Shut the door. Shut it. Okay, stay here. I'll go check. Just keep that door shut. Are you still here? Come on out. It's over now. You're safe. You sure? Are you sure it's dead? Yeah. Now, what were you two doing here in the first place? We... we, we were just walking, and we heard barking, and went in. Hey, but your brother said you were playing with the dog, and then it ran in there. Y yes, that's what I meant.
know. Whatever it is you've done, I won't judge you. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. We came here because... Because the dog... He, he attacked the thing. Buddy saved us. Otherwise, we, we would have... There's nothing we can do for him now. You don't understand. It's our fault. We chased him in here because we were hunting him. Wait, hunting? The dog? Why the hell would you hunt a dog? For mom. For her birthday. We don't have nothing. Not even anything to eat. But we didn't want her to go hungry. Not on her birthday. And when we saw the dog playing with this kid, Dominic, we... Well, got an idea. Alright, turn around and don't look. It's over now. Get back to your mom.
protected.
A sparker card. I know exactly who's looking for this.
Sophie has interesting people with her. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Pilgrim, you said you'd help us. Where were you when those bandits murdered our people? alone but what if something happened to him we got to do something scott mo say something i'm asking nicely please look maybe your uncle can buy you a pet or something he seems like a man of some means now uh, leave my boys alone hey it's you mister you seen buddy anywhere wait so you haven't told him anything yet Buddy's dead. Scott and Mo can tell you what happened. You, you saw something happened? What happened to Buddy? Tell him, boys. Dominic, I'm sorry. Shut up! Buddy, it's our fault. Shut up, dumbass! Be quiet, Scotty. Let him talk. You, your fault? How? What are you saying? We... we lured Buddy away to hunt him. To... to kill him. But it was for our mom. I swear, it's not like we were doing it for fun. But... how could... Is that the reason you... suddenly started playing with me and Buddy? Was... was that it? Because... unless you became friends with him, you knew Buddy wouldn't let you catch him? I'm sorry, Dominic. It's... it's my fault. We have so little and it's all the boys could think to do for my birthday. Please forgive them. They meant you no harm, just the dog. Just the dog? He was my best friend! And you... You all... I hate you, hate you, hate you! But, Mom, we just wanted to... I know. But what you've done... to Dominic, to that poor dog, despite everything... I thought I raised you two better than that. I can't look at you right now. Thank you for finding them, and saving them, and... giving them the chance to take responsibility for what they've done. You're a good man. For a pilgrim. Take care of yourself. So this is what dealing with pilgrims looks like. But you wonder where all the guns went, right? The army seized them after the event.
jacket. And it's not a big deal. Shut up. I'm trying to think how to fix this. Right. And you got to come to the feet.
nearby.
than I thought. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 
here, the butcher's men are high on some kind of weird drug. <sighs> Alamut all over again. girl asked me what books I like, and I say hard covers, because they burn long.
Civilization is a vulnerable thing.
something wrong with me? Something wrong with you? No, please. At least I have a reason to look for an apartment. I know of one that's unoccupied. There's even a stove. You're so sweet. Jack and Joe are just plain sneaky scumbags. Shouting in the middle of the bazaar. They surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had you here? Don't make it laugh. Very strong. Why didn't you do it yourself? You're dead now, fucker. 
Great. Another boring post. Inhibitor container detected. Or I could charge you with attempted bribery. No, man. I was just, you know. Just admit it. Was it worth robbing everyone at the bazaar just to get caught? Uh, for potatoes, not so much. Handicrafts, though. Base? Well, 